Hello, I'm Matt, Product Manager for NI Insights CM. In this video, I'd like to show you how you can map your physical channels on your NI monitoring device to the sensors that you've specified in your asset configuration. To do so, click on the Devices tab, and then select the device that you'd like to map and click Edit. This will bring you to the device configuration. The first tab, the Equipment Mapping tab, allows us to do this mapping. Data Group is a collection of channels on the device which are typically linked to a specific asset. To map the data group to an asset, click on it and then find the asset of interest. In this case, this device is associated with the rotating equipment with tachometer that I've created earlier. If this device were to monitor multiple pieces of equipment, you can create additional data groups by managing data groups and then selecting channels that will be part of each data group. Next, find the channel you'd like to map to a particular sensor that you've already specified and click on it and find that sensor. Notice how when I clicked on this particular physical channel, some of the options here are available for me to select while others are grayed out. InsightCM knows, based on the channel that you select, if you can connect that sensor to it or not. So I'm going to go ahead and select this first channel to connect to my tachometer and to go through and to do all of the mapping behind the scenes. Next, I'll need to go down. I also have a thermocouple here. In this case, the thermocouple is on this particular physical channel. And when I've selected it, notice how everything else grayed out and I can select a thermocouple. I've now just mapped all the channels that I have connected to the sensors on that asset. Some of the other properties that you might want to configure are if you want to add or remove particular channels, or if you want to adjust the device sampling rate for your dynamic or waveform acquisition channels. You can also use the device configuration to update the hardware configuration if you change it after the device has been added to Insight CM. When finished, go ahead and click Save. Because this particular configuration has empty channels which are not mapped to sensors, it will prompt me to remove those. So go ahead and click OK. It will save the device. After you've done the mapping, you'll need to go back to the Devices page, click on the asset, and note how it says under the configuration status that we must update the configuration. So go ahead and click Update Configuration. That will send the new configuration information, including data collection behaviors, sensor properties, feature configurations, and alarm information to the device. The device will reboot, it will come back online, and it will begin to collect the data as we specified in our configuration.